Hello my aviation friends! In my last video I showed you hangar in a Kaunas which belong to FL Technic and if you haven't seen it yet uh, the link to video is up here or it will be in the link in description below uh, and I promised you that I will show you few of their workshops so today we're gonna take a look on the composite shop so let's take a look at it Guys, this is uh, Robert. He's head of the composite. Yes. Uh, please tell us a little bit about about this department. Yes, so we are now in the composite workshop. Mm -hmm. So composite workshop is divided in uh, three rooms. So it's a uh, clean room, mm -hmm. uh, preparation uh, room like here right now. Mm -hmm. And we have preparation zone uh, in the corner of the hunger where we do all the sanding and dirty stuff where mm -hmm. all the magic of uh, making the cutouts and all these uh, preparations for repair uh, materials application mm -hmm. are being uh, done uh, for example now we are in preparation room where is uh, where we do is uh, mix our resins so that's why we have a good ventilation we have all the cabinets for lockers for all the materials, uh, which uh, resins or prepreg materials, which we keep in our fridge. Some of the materials uh, by their requirements are kept in the refrigerators. So also we have a additional room where we keep our storage uh, of uh, some raw material. It's like uh, carbon uh, fabrics, uh, glass fabrics, uh, honeycombs, mm -hmm. uh, sheet metal materials for metal bonding. So also all these various equipment uh, for uh, uh, curing procedure applications. So uh, and uh, as I say, uh, additionally we have a clean room where we uh, make all the assembly of the mm -hmm. repair. So it's uh, not just the clean room. It's called because it's. It has to be very clean, without right. any dust, without so dust, that you yeah. didn't have any contamination yes. to repair. So it's very precisely uh, kept uh, all the environment, uh, environmental conditions, so that uh, the repair was perfect. Uh, so you need to have great repair. ventilation. And yes, uh, okay. you can even have overpressure. It's like in some of the procedures. Uh, the repair requires even over pressure or some additional so you can make it over pressure even mm -hmm, okay yeah so also as we have in the Lithuania we have a winter we have summer in the winter we have to have a to have the controlled environment you have to have the heating in the summer we you have, have to have a stable yeah, environment yeah, 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 All, yeah, yeah. Uh, any it depends it depends on the weather yes, you need uh, to be always at the same temperature and i think the same same uh, yeah humidity, uh, humidity yeah. yeah yeah so everything has to be controlled that's why it's uh, how to say you have to uh, manage all the uh, of course yeah all your it's whole science you know somebody says it's just composite no it's whole science behind this yes yeah, yes so. yes okay interesting so, and actually uh, about the composites, so it's just a material uh, composed of uh, several materials yes. depending on the situation that you would need some physical or chemical properties to have. Mm -hmm. so, so, as the aircraft has different, how to say, zones and uh, uh, all these fairings or flaps, spoilers, uh, rather elevators, everything needs to uh, has its purpose and has to do the job. So composites uh, allow for the components to uh, maintain necessary yeah. requirements and, uh, as I said, to have some physical properties which other materials or at least one material can't have or it will be maybe too heavy. So composites allow to compose a material mm -hmm. from uh, various different uh, components so that it could have these properties. Yes, yes. And many people don't know actually uh, uh, how many how many parts of the aircrafts are made out of composites. So it's like a lot. Even yeah. uh, nowadays, a uh, few of the 
how to say models of uh, aircrafts are uh, really even the fuselage is made of carbon yeah like 787 for yeah, yeah so so actually the further we go it's like even more composites of course are being because used. it's lighter it's uh, sometimes it's even stronger than metal yes. right so just like you, you can see a formula f1 so yes, of course, uh, even yeah. all the suspension uh, and all the body work everything is composite yeah, yeah. yeah. So Robert, you just pick up one nice uh, piece of equipment. Uh, tell us about uh, this uh, this device which you have here. Yeah, so this is a pretty expensive piece of equipment. Uh -huh. It's called a hot bonder. So the hot bonder is like a computer, uh, uh, an equipment uh, that can uh, that makes all the job. Actually. Uh, it can make uh, make vacuum. It can uh, check the vacuum, uh, monitor it. It can uh, make the curing process, like it connects the uh, bl heat blankets to it, mm -hmm. and it controls the temperature of the repair with the thermocouples. Additionally, that you connect uh, to the hot bonder, and uh, uh, you can enter the program, the mm -hmm. curing program that is necessary to have uh, for each uh, material uh, that you are working with and it will uh, uh, make all the process, it will control the process uh, and it will uh, print out uh, the, all the curing program, uh, how to say, how was everything controlled so that you can have a proof that all the repair was uh, perfect without any mm -hmm. deviations. So basically, it stored all the data, and you can then uh, provide it to the customer. Like, yeah, like, like yes, you, you providing also ASA form for yes. this repair. Yeah. So every, you, you attach everything to to shop, shop repair report. Yeah. Yes. And yes. in accordance, with that will be released a new ASA form, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. You're right. Yeah. So this is the, uh, all these documentation that that we can have from this hot bonder. Uh, we will attach, as you said, to the documentation, to mm -hmm. the paperwork, and uh, after all, the YASA form 1 will be released for the component that's been repaired. Awesome, perfect. Yeah. And after this, Robert took us to the preparation zone, where, as he said before, they're doing all the dirty work. So let's take a look. Okay, so we are in the preparation room, right? Yes. So this is an area where we have also very good ventilation, all these uh, additional uh, hoses so that you can suck the dust in wherever place you are. This is where we bring the components uh, for paint removal, uh, cutting, uh, making the cutouts or doing some uh, dirty work, mm -hmm. as we say. Yes. So also where we uh, mark all the defects and uh, actually where also where we finish after doing the repair so prior to going to the paint booth so where we do our cutting sanding uh, finishing up mm -hmm. sealing of the repairs and now let's take a look on some of their findings uh, which had the damages so what we did We removed the paint, we marked the defects, and uh, we made an evaluation job sheet for it. And uh, after all, we make the assessment to understand if the component is repairable or not. So in this case, this component will go to overhaul or rebuild to some uh, specialized repair shop because uh, Collins Aerospace told that this component is for scrap or overhaul it or rebuild. Uh, okay, so you have a damage beyond the repair, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, in your facility? Yes. It's okay. be, beyond the repair of our of MRO uh, company because organization because uh, we had the de deviation from uh, structure repair manual but we contacted two manufacturer for mm -hmm. repair instructions but manufacturer uh, said that it's out of uh, MRO capability yeah, to repair. Out of the scope yeah, of yeah, the company. Yes, yes. Okay. So all the, for example, uh, uh, this one also was uh, decided that this one has to also to be scrapped. Okay. So there is, uh, I guess, delamin delamination. Yeah. Oh, this, this is, is dead. The, this is a dent with mm -hmm. this bond. 
and it's too close to the latch of the Fanco. That's why the manufacturer uh, decided that it's too much critical mm -hmm. and it needs to be uh, rebuilt or replaced. Okay, by, so it uh, needs to be, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. All the rest of the Fankos were uh, uh, available for repair, so we can check another two of, of the Fankos. So these ones I have less damage and this is repairable and uh, we will start doing the repair pr procedure in a short time. Okay. For example, here we can check the uh, process uh, is like this is after repair, so the repair was uh, finished, cured. Now uh, the repairman is doing the sanding and finishing of the repair. So it's like uh, sanding all the edges, removing and preparing for repaint of the part. This was tour through the composite workshop in Kaunas hangar. Big thanks to Robert for his time and explanation of uh, their job. Uh, Unfortunately, again, my time there was very limited, so I was not able to record everything. So if you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. Uh, again, big thanks to people from FL Technic for making this possible. And of course, they let me record everything for you. I'll again leave the link in the description below where you can find uh, more information about their facilities and uh, open positions. In the next video, I'll show you how NDT inspection is performed thanks to Yolanta. Uh, she was so kind and explained us the uh, whole process. So you have uh, definitely something to looking forward to. All what's remaining is to say thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Visual inspection. The so first of all, yeah. yeah, first we start with visual inspection. Yes, visual if inspection. there are no visible cracks, right? No visible. Uh, this is the current. I can uh, confirm or not mm -hmm. the cracks on the structure. Yeah. So now we're in Galley and uh, because of, because you performed before the heavy car inspection, right? On doorstops. On yes. doorstops, you found some cracks, which yes. you will gonna show us now. Yes. So you found a hole with the cracks. Yeah. What does it mean to know who you are? I'm working on learning acceptance. Working on taking it far and counting the cards and count my blessings. Working for free and really for me.